beep 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 Time to wake up is a visual airport only so the weather's got to be extremely good because of all the high terrain. The screen here, Prero is just this little dot here so we've got all this red and white and black is basically high cloud and it was yesterday very good weather but overnight it's got bad. Sorry? The airport? Yeah, airport. And your name? Oh, your name? Yeah. Abdul Hot. Abdul. Yes. Pleased to meet you, Abdul. Day two of the trip and um, mixed feelings really because we're going to Bhutan, so we're a little bit further away each stop from Thailand. Seeing all the Thai people yesterday at the spa doing the postcards just reminded me how warm and homesick Thai people get uh, and how ready they were just to embrace the project. Tom walked into the spa and within two minutes they'd explain what he was doing and they were all very happy and I think quite emotional to help out. And it reminded me of the reaction we had on the last trip, the Global Expedition Part 1, because it was exactly the same. The people that were willing to take part just embraced the project, the simplicity, and they got quite emotional as well about it. I think it just made them remember the good things about Thailand, which is the whole point. sensitive about flights coming from here crossing their airspace I think there's some political history there somehow which is a shame so we're going to file the flight plan first then we can do immigration customs get the plane ready and hopefully by the time that's all done we should be on our merry way I think we've got a small window being able to get into Bhutan today uh, the weather is improving it's not great but it's definitely doable so we'll give it a try Chittagong Ground, Hotel Sierra, Tango, Oscar Mike, good morning. Hotel Sierra, Tango, Oscar Mike. Chittagong Ground, Hotel Sierra, Tango, Oscar Mike, go ahead. Dear EDC India, Lima 702. Lima 702 for Hotel Oscar Mike.
thank Hubert from Asian Aerospace for giving me such a great beefing. Uh, it was exactly as we did it in the simulator. Um, so uh, that was really good. Just uh, amazing. I think one of the most challenging approaches I've ever done in my life. I lost my hat in Chittagong. Lost a folder in Chittagong. Something about that place. But it's all forgotten here. We're just uh, in the shadow of the magnificent splendour of these mountains, um, which are forming part of the Himalayas. But if you look around here, I mean, look at this. It's very majestic. The pace of life here is very, very slow. And there's a feeling of um, benign fathership here, very paternalistic. As if the old kingdom that used to take care of its subjects is still in existence. Uh, there are cracks though, I mean, I fear for this place. I think it's impossible to maintain the uh, timelessness of it. They've got mobile phones, they've got internet. Um, the next generation is not going to accept things being done in such a quaint way. So now is the time to come and see this place while it's still got a vestige of its old former self, but beautiful. เราอยู่ที่สนามยิงธนูกลางเมืองพาโลนะครับตอนนี้เอ่อคนพื้นเมืองนะครับก็มาเล่นกีฬาอยู่ธนูกันแต่ดูท่าทางเค้ากําลัง
Takshang Temple, or the Tiger's Nest, is one of Bhutan's iconic landmarks. It is located 3,200 meters above Pero Valley. Legend says it was founded by a Lama monk, later known as the Precious Master, who flew on a tigress to meditate against the evil resident in the Pero Valley. Sadly, in 1998, there was a fire which destroyed most of the temple. It was rebuilt in 2005, and ever since, the monks are not allowed to stay overnight except for meditating during the day. Once a year, the sacred chamber is open to bless the public. Okay, so I am Chimei, and I would like to wish you a very happy birthday, Your Majesty, and long live Your Majesty, the King of Persia. เดินขึ้นมาประมาณ20นาทีแล้วครับหอบถ้าไม่มีไม้เท้านี่ช่วยก็ไม่รู้จะยังไงเอ๊ะไม้เท้านี่ยังไง